This tutorial is about how the Nuke Viewer handles 3D and the controls that help you navigate. So first off, let's go into 3D. So we can do that by that drop down there. Now straight away we can see that this jack here gives it away that we're in 3D. But I like to make it a little bit plainer than that, so what I need to do is go to our preferences, which is Command, Comma, go along to the Viewers tab, and then click Background, and now change the value here so that I get a grey. So that way, when I'm in 3D now, I can instantly tell because the background is grey. While we're in this window, another thing to note is the 3D control type. So what this is going to change is how you tumble around or navigate the 3D viewer. So I'm going to tell you how to do it in Nuke, but also if you're familiar with Maya, Houdini or Lightwave, you can change Nuke to mimic the controls that that application uses. So let's do save preferences, close. Okay, so where's our viewer? Here it is. So before we tumble around or anything, let's look at something. So we attach the viewer to there, and then while over the viewer hit F, we see that now here is our cube. If I was to attach the viewer to the sphere and then hit F, I would see the sphere. If I move the viewer to the scene, then I get to see both pieces of geometry that are in the scene. But if I was looking back at the cube, and then double click the sphere so its parameters were open here, I would also see it. And that would also count if I had something that wasn't in the tree but was open. So if I go cylinder, you can see that now that cylinder appears in the scene. And even though I haven't got a viewer attached to it, it's still there. We just need to shut it there and then we no longer see it. So let's get rid of that. Let's now go over how we navigate the viewer in 3D. So a dolly is Alt and middle mouse button, and we can see here we go, and dolly in and out. Or we can also use the mouse wheel. Pan is Alt and left mouse button. Tilt is Command, left mouse button, up and down. Rotate is Command, left mouse button, left and right. Roll is Command and Shift, left mouse button. Another thing to know about panning is that this zoom factor is going to control the rate at which you pan. So if you found that this has been changed to something like uh, times nine, or even maybe you've done a middle mouse and a marquee, and it's gone to something like times 63, and then you go to pan, you're going to see that you're going to pan in tiny little increments. That's because this factor is altering your pan rate. So we could just go here, or we could even use a keyboard shortcut, which would be Control or Command 1. And now we can see that we are back to a normal rate of pan. It also works with dividing. So if we divide, we're going to go faster. So if we say divide by 9 and now pan, we see that we can maybe pan around a big scene a little bit faster. So for this case, I'm just going to go back to Control 1. Now let's have a little look at rotation. So uh, by default, if I rotate, I'm going to rotate around the point of origin, the world point here, 0, 0. So let's uh, check that out, so if we can see that I'm rotating around that point there. But if I want you to say rotate around this um, sphere, if I click it, middle mouse button, and now rotate, I rotate around the sphere. Or if I click there, and the middle mouse button. I'm now rotating around the cube. If I want to go back to default now, I click away, middle mouse button, and now when I rotate, I'm rotating back around there. This drop down here allows me to see right side, left side, top, bottom, front, and back. So if we were to look at top, you can see now we're looking at the top of the cube or if I was to go sphere and then hit F I'd see that I was looking at the top of the sphere and now I'm looking at the top of the sphere and the cube or maybe the left side F while over the viewer to see everything that's in the scene and then we can use the keyboard shortcut V to go back to perspective or the drop down. I note that you cannot 
tumble around unless you're in perspective. That's the only way you can. So up there, now I can tumble around. Next we have this uh, drop down here, which is the camera drop down. So if we can see here, the viewer is upstream of the camera. So if I look in that drop down, there's no camera there. But if I was to look at this point, so now the camera appears in the 3D view and will also appear in this drop down. Another way for this camera to appear is if I'm looking at this point here, but again if I have the camera parameters open, then the camera will appear. And we can now choose to look through the camera. So now that we're looking through the camera, I can still zoom out and see the camera body, and when I can see the camera body I can obviously move it to how I'd like to move it. And holding down the command key will give me the rotational hoops, like that. Now if I lock to that view, now I'm looking through that camera, so no amount of zooming will allow me to see the camera body. So at this point, if I wish to change the camera position, I have to do it in this property bin here. So if I was to slightly move it, you can see now I'm moving the camera.